everybody. This week on Ask Kristen, we're talking about who's we? Why age is a number, sure, but it's also a lot more than a number. Like for instance, a set of globally inconsistent and historically mangled and rather confusing laws. <laughs> Ask Kristen question came a while back from Alex Smiles Tollies. What's your opinion on different legal ages of consent? Is the ability to give consent even measurable in age or legally? Uh, question mark? answer your first question on what my opinion is of all these different legal ages of consent. A, I think it's super confusing. B, I think it reflects how we culturally approach sexual maturity, particularly of girls. Three. Nope, that would be C. I think it promotes a lot of mixed messages about what is and isn't okay and acceptable behavior between people. There is an absolute utility and importance of having these kinds of laws in place in order to create uh, legal ramifications for things like statutory rape and pedophilia. At the same time, that leaves a lot of other people wondering what is and isn't right. A lot of this really started to emerge in England in the 18th century with this growing concept of childhood as distinct, very definitively, from adulthood. People started to get concerned about the welfare of children placing these ages of consent laws in place. They placed them in place. In a lot of European countries, the age of consent around this time was 13. In early, early America, the ages of consent were even lower, usually 10 to 12 years old. A lot of it was scientifically based on the average age of monarchy or when someone gets their period for the first time, aka when Aunt Flo first comes a knocking and says, hello, old oh God, and then spills red Kool-Aid all over your white pants. Then when you have more urbanization and industrialization, more women working outside the home and being unmarried at the same time, you see ages of consent starting to rise because there is that moralizing over, oh my God, we must protect the women from themselves and also from these men. It's focused on women because women are the ones who can get pregnant and pregnancy out of wedlock was also an economic liability. And it's also worth noting in a horrific kind of way that these kinds of laws that were being enacted were exclusively intended and executed to protect white women. This is the era in which, legally speaking, black women could not be raped. The racist ideology at the time maintained that black women, as well as black men, were hypersexualized creatures and thus would always be playing the role of temptress rather than ever possibly being the victims of rape. Which might sound astonishing today, but was just the way of life. Let's talk about now and Alex's second question of whether it's even possible to quantify when someone can give consent in a healthy and knowledgeable kind of way by age or legality. Generally speaking, yes, because at, at some point in order to codify this, you have to ha establish some kind a benchmark. That benchmark tends to sway somewhere between 13 and 17. Really big window. As William Salatin outlined so well over at Slate, our bodies prepare us puberty-wise for sex and our brains start thinking about sex before our psyches are really that mature. And that happens before our emotions are fully mature. If, I mean, does that ever even like happen though? I can also attest to that disconnect between the time when our bodies and sex brains, for lack of a better term, develop and when our maturity psychologically and emotionally develops. At the time, I absolutely thought I was mature enough and ready to have this kind of relationship with a significantly older guy that probably would have gotten like super physical super fast. Looking back now through my adult eyes, I can see how he and I were on completely different playing fields. Not even so much physically, but more 
psychologically, experientially, and maturity-wise. And I am honestly grateful in retrospect that it wasn't allowed to happen due to my parents being like, whoa, no. Not because the guy was some kind of predator, but rather because he saw me as someone more mature both physically and sexually probably and mentally than I actually was. Please keep in mind that A, I'm recounting a personal experience that happened to me and also am still someone who absolutely believes in safe, healthy, consensual sexual exploration and development. I don't think that we should demonize masturbation or sex or anything like that when it comes to younger people because those urges in our little sex brains are there and that's totally fine. The fact of the matter is though that there are layers to it. And unfortunately, age of consent laws don't really clarify anything. Glass half full? I think they can offer at least some guidelines. Now I want to know what you think about this and I know you have lots of thoughts because I hear them in your emails and private messages. Let me know in the comments below. And thanks everybody who watched and commented on last week's Ask Kristen video, Why Do Women Belong in the Kitchen? Kathy Covarrubias said, My husband and I have switched roles several times. This past year I've been the breadwinner and he's been more of a stay-at-home husband. He just got a job where things will be switched. For us, as long as we're comfortable, it doesn't matter to us who does what, but I have to say, he's a better cook. Vlad Masters commented, I took a sociology course a couple years ago and remember one of our units centered on how women in the 80s, 90s, and 2000s were not only working women, but their domestic duties were still put upon them too. I would say it's making slow changes where the typically male partner is taking on more responsibility, but women are still expected to have the nine to five job, to cook dinner, to run the kids to school and sports practice, and to keep their home clean and stocked with food. It's a really interesting slash sad aspect that stuck over the decades. If you've got anything on your brain hole, be sure to ask me some questions so I can give you some answers.